In this video, I will explain how to encrypt and decrypt texts using the ROT13 cipher. So this cipher is pretty simple. Here's the idea behind it. Each letter of the alphabet is mapped to the letter 13 positions after it. So for example, if you want to encrypt a message with the letter A, instead of writing A, you would write the letter that comes 13 positions after it in the alphabet, which is N. And similarly, to encrypt N, you would instead write an A. So it goes both ways. And similarly, to encrypt the letter B, instead of writing a B, you would write the letter that is 13 positions after it, which is O. And similarly, to encrypt O, you would just write B. So that's how this cipher works. So let's take a look at a couple examples. This first one says, encrypt the following message using the ROT13 cipher. Math is fun. So to encrypt this message, we're just going to go letter by letter and encrypt it. So we'll start with M. If we find M up here, we can see that M maps to the letter Z. So to encrypt the letter M, we're just going to write a Z. Then we'll move on to A. So if we find A up here, we can see that maps to the letter N. So instead of writing A, we will write N. Then we'll move on to the letter T. So we'll find T right here maps to the letter G. So our next letter will be G. And we'll just continue in this manner until we have encrypted every letter in the original text. So this would be our final encrypted text. Now let's say that we would like to decrypt the following message using the ROT13 cipher. This cipher text right here. To decrypt it, we use the exact same process as the encryption. So we're just going to go letter by letter once again. So to decrypt this O, we'll find O up here, and we'll see that maps to the letter B. So we'll write B, then we'll move on to the next letter of N. So we'll find N, and we'll see that maps to the letter A. So our next letter will be A, and next we'll find F, so we can see F maps to the letter S, so that will be our next letter, and we'll just continue in this manner until we have decrypted all of the letters. And when you do that, you will find that the encrypted text was basketball. So that is how you can encrypt and decrypt text using the ROT13 cipher.